Hi guys, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy and today our expert will be discussing about the difference between waterfall approach, agile model and DevOps model. So let's get into the video. So now let us understand how this DevOps came into picture and what exactly DevOps is all about. So whenever if I want to create a software, so there is a software development life cycle which is normally occur which will happen in your organization and uh, before in the beginning there was a there was a waterfall approach where uh, here the process where the development process is of a new phase begins only after the completion of the previous phase as you can see everything will happen in a water flow model one after the other very sequentially wherein a uh, requirement gathering you do a system designing and a system implementation system deployment system testing system maintenance right so here uh, a new phase will only begin when the completion of the previous phase is done so you cannot in between you cannot start any phases in between you cannot implement any new changes required by the customer so the customer has to wait a considerable amount of time uh, for you to complete this particular deployment or a development and then come up with a new requirement telling that okay this is not what i want this is what i want so it will it will take up a considerable amount of time so that is what was there several years back uh, why most of the organization were used to follow that is a waterfall approach here the development phase takes longer duration of time and as i said by the time the product is released to the market customer requirement is changed because so this the, the customer has given you a requirement and by the time you do all the steps and come up with the application by the time the customer will already be have changed the mind because it will take a longer period of time for you to develop a software as a result customer might lose interest in the product due to the extended development or a shift in his requirement right so extended development or taking a longer period of time the customer will lose the interest saying that okay uh, it's a very slow process and we cannot implement the continuous changes to it so several years back this is what most of the companies were uh, using and that is why you used to say uh, that the development was very slow new applications coming to the production was very slow in the several years back so after a uh, uh, waterfall uh, going into picture the next model which became pretty famous is agile model so you must be doing you must be knowing right so before cloud coming into picture agile methodology was in the boom in almost all the organizations every project they are telling that we are we are going to work on agile methodology so we're going to come up with an agile methodology so agile mo model became famous uh, and agile model breaks the product development into a small iteration to minimize minimize the amount of upfront required planning and designing so as i said in the previous water flow approach i have an application so all the uh, resource required for my application from end to end I will do it in the beginning itself and I will take it as a single task and I do the applications, uh, uh, you know, development and deployment, which will take a very long period of time. So considering the uh, problem with the customer and the, and uh, uh, keeping all this mind, so there several uh, company came up with the agile methodology where any task you give them, any project you give them, they will gonna break them into a smaller iteration so the customer can give the feedback uh, uh, can the can have certain results in his hand and he can also look and what is happening and he can also give a certain feedback and it'll also reduce the upfront required for planning and designing right so that is where agile model was beneficial over waterfall model so here every development team they will be focusing on a particular iteration they will complete that iteration and immediately switch to a new iteration so by the time the iteration is going on the already the plan and everything for the next iteration will be ready so that the development process of the uh, process on an overall will be the speed of that or the pace of it will be increased so agile model solves the problem of a water model by releasing a product in iteration not at one go and accepting the changes in the requirement at a different iteration so probably the customer is seeing the basic format uh, of an application and still the uh, first iteration you are in a basic format of the application given to the customer so by looking into the basic uh, format of the application uh, there is some uh, new changes what the customer wanted what he had communicated previously 
but you want a new changes you want to uh, get it get it implemented so you can immediately give the feedback after the first iteration telling that okay uh, i i do not want uh, this particular software i want a different software uh, uh, implementation to be done so immediately you can take up that requirement in the second iteration and you can implement it rather than you do everything and go to the customer and then go to the customer says that okay this is not what i want i want something else right so that problems was solved by the agile methodology or an agile model so what are the difficulty in this approaches so here although the task of uh, application development is been splitted into a different uh, iterations so there will be a lack of collaboration between developers and the operation team which will in turn again slow down the development process and the product release because several years back what was there there was a separate development team who will be focusing only on the program development where they will be a they'll be a java developer dotnet developer node.js developer they will just develop the application and give it to the ops team now ops team again they will uh, uh, because of the lack of collaboration so they will be deploying the application and sometimes it might lead to an error because the way they deploy because the developer because the ops team member will not be aware of what is required with respect to development and what a developer has done and due to which the application is going to fail when you do the deployment and it's going to take a lot of time to collaborate between these two team and uh, it is uh, it will slow down the development process and if there is any problem let's say you you created an application and you deploy you you give it to the ops team ops team is going to uh, with, with having a less knowledge about that application is going to try to deploy that application and maintain that application and then ops team uh, uh, will face certain errors and the ops team will try to figure out what is the error and then they'll come back to the development team and say okay this is the error so uh, we'll have to uh, we'll have to change the coding again development team is going to work on it and then again they're going to pass it on to the ops team and this process keeps on repeating and it will completely so slow down your <coughs> development process and product release and uh, it does not automate the steps followed in the iteration so there'll be no automation here everything is manual development team will do it their own task manually and then they'll push it to the operation team and the operation team will do their task manually so that is why you will see a system engineers operation engineers a team of them will be there in your uh, in your company and also operation engineers this not only just running an application it is also to maintain and make sure that your application works as required by the customer so making sure of that is in the hands of the operation engineer right so there uh, again uh, since it's a different team and a lot of lack of collaboration again there is a delay in the development life cycle so that is where devops came into picture in order to solve this problem so devops is a strategy which will bridge the gap between the developers and operation team and helps to deliver the code quality and software on time so and in within devops so devops is basically a combination of your as you can see in the diagram it's a combination of your development team and the operation team so dev and ops is covered is is uh, merged into a devops and in the devops there are several level of automation several tools have been have been in the market and it's been growing exponentially uh, once once the devops has been invented and devops methodology was invented so it what it does it will quickly easily repeatedly and safely moves the software from developer infrastructure to the production in, in infrastructure right so here we create an automation so you can repeatedly quickly and safely do the movement of your software from the developer infrastructure uh, from the developer infrastructure to the production infrastructure and devops follows the drawbacks of both waterfall and that agile process and it improves the collaboration and productivity by automating the infrastructure automating the workflow continuously monitor your application performance so it is going to take care of all the aspects in the devops cycle and it's going to make sure that your your application developed has been delivered to the uh, production or different environments within no time so guys this was our expert from team k21 academy and if you want to dive deeper to any concept then we have something really 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 special for you we have our free class on aws devops for beginners certification along with some demo in this free class you'll be learning about why learn devops and on aws cloud 
what is AWS DevOps, who should be learning about it, CI CD pipelines. You'll be getting a demo. You'll also be getting some hands on labs and job opportunities as well. So, in order to register for this free class, all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash AWS DevOps 02. And after that, you'll be seeing this kind of interface. You just have to click on book your free seat now and add your event date according to your availability, enter your name, your email address, your phone number, and click on yes, save my seat. Moving ahead, you'll be seeing this kind of URL on the extreme right. Save that URL and I will see you in the free class. Till then, keep learning.